Hello, second graders. Our next artist that we are going to learn about is Frida Kahlo. Um, if you are looking at the slide presentation, you'll be able to see that I've added a book about Frida Kahlo called Frida Kahlo and her Animalitos. So you could check out that book um, by clicking on the book in this picture. All right, we will be learning about the artist Frida Kahlo. There is a brief uh, video for you to watch to learn a little bit about her history and her life. Here are some examples of Frida Kahlo and her self-portraits. Frida Kahlo was very famous for her self-portrait. And if you remember from that video, they gave a great reason for why she always painted herself. All right, hint, hint, hint. It's because she said it was the subject that she knew best. Um, and if you remember, oftentimes she was at home in bed, so she was the subject that she was able to see most often. We are going to be making a portrait of Frida Kahlo. There is a video that you could follow along with. There um, are examples of step-by-step -step drawings that you could follow along with. But what I am going to do now is I am going to show you another um, simple portrait start to create a Frida Kahlo portrait. All right, so very similar to when we created other simple self portraits, I'm going to start with a nice big U shape. I want it to take up a good amount of my page. All right, from our U shape for the shape of our face. Uh, we can add our neck making sure not to give her a popsicle stick neck. It needs a little bit of volume. We can add her hairline as well. But first I am going to add her ears. Kind of look like a C and a backward C. And her hairline, uh, her bottom hairline is gonna go from her ear. All right, I can give her a part over to the other ear. And if you wanted to make her hair style a little different, that is okay. Um, I am going to give her some shoulders and a shirt. Um, I saw that she often is wearing a shawl. So I'm gonna make it look like she has her shawl wrapped around her shoulders and her shirt underneath or her dress. And I could add more detail to those later. Um, such as different patterns. Maybe I want to give her a necklace. And you could think of your own details uh, by looking at the pictures of Frida Kahlo for what you think that she would wear. All right, I'm gonna make sure that I give her her eyes. a nose and a mouth. One thing that Frida Kahlo is very famous for is her unibrow. So even if I add eyebrows to make it a unibrow, I would just Connect it in the middle. She embraced her unibrow. It was something that nowadays people might tweeze it, they might wax it, they might adjust it, but Frida Kahlo embraced everything that was natural about her. Um, and finally, we could finish it off with a flower crown. Um, she often created uh, her paintings with a flower crown. Um, so we could create different types of flowers. We can make some that spiral, or make some that maybe look a little bit like the sunflowers that we included um, for when we were learning about Vincent van Gogh. And you can create different sized flowers, different color flowers, that is up to you. I look forward to seeing how each person's will look unique and how you put your own spin on Frida Kahlo. All right. 
And once you've added all of these decorations, right, I could add some, the rest of her hairline. Come over top. All right, you could choose how she does her hair. Um, I'm going to leave it like this, so it almost looks like, actually I'll add a little bun up top. Um, and then the next thing that we need to do is color it. to my background, I've added some vines and some leaves, and I've given my Frida Kahlo a little a bit of an environment. I can't wait to see what colors you use for your Frida, how you're going to make your Frida yours and unique.